Right, to me, attire is very important. Personally, I don't feel comfortable unless I look smart. And by smart, I don't break the bank. I'm a mother of three, a single mother, and I have to watch my money. So therefore, I have learned to be very savvy, oh, very cunning with where I shop, what I shop, and how to put pieces together. The garment doesn't have to be from an expensive label for me to achieve the most. So yes, at times I may struggle slightly. So there I will go to Pinterest and perhaps check on casual denim or if it's a rainy day or if it's winter and I get the kick to put my process together for that day and it's something that I enjoy immensely because ultimately it's not just what you buy and what you wear but how you wear it and posture in itself adds a lot of value to how you end up putting the look together because it doesn't matter how much money you spent on your clothing when you just slouch there and you don't really know and you're walking like you're dragging your knuckles on the floor but posture in itself and you know making the most of yourself and the way you walk the way you hold yourself adds a lot of value to the whole outfit so for example hands to me personally add to the look if you bite your nails if your nails are dirty it doesn't say much about you it doesn't matter how much you spend on your outfit when your hands don't look tidy you don't have to have long nails but they have to be clean they have to be tidy for example accessories you don't have to spend a lot of money on accessories you can go to a charity shop and even if you mix and match different things, but if you're trying to wear, for example, silver bangles and then try to make the rest look the same instead of mixing, for example, gold and silver. But this is just my personal opinion. You know, this top, for example, very smart top. I can't remember where precisely it came from. It's got loads of little black sort of buttons on it. It is not necessarily my size, it was a couple of sizes bigger, but you wear it loosely and then I wear a belt around my waist to bring it together. The top came from Bonados, I probably didn't pay more than three, four, five pounds. My jeans are Replay, which I paid mm, roughly a hundred pounds 15 years ago, which okay, um, certainly means I can still fit into them. And then my boots from Just Fab. So ultimately the whole outfit, okay, let's not take into account my glasses, maybe cost altogether 140 pounds, which you can then mix and match and is very diverse because you can wear the ripped jeans with a nice blazer, you can, you can, you know wear expensive high heels with it you can put a really nice cashmere coat with it it's what you do at the end of the day and how you wear your hair and and as I said how you hold yourself and then the perfume with it, it doesn't have to be expensive I don't do expensive but I still manage to look the best and when I have people down the street or in a shop ask me where did you get a certain part because god you put it together so nicely yeah I don't break the bank because I've learned to do the most with what I've got and and it works it works for me it doesn't have to be appreciated by everyone out there but I'm simply doing these videos because I've had enough people ask me how I put it together and I have advised other people and I've gone shopping with people as well to help them figure out how to put things together so I'm just trying to give you an insight of what works for me and you may pick up some ideas that work for you. Thank you.